Hi everybody. Good morning. Uh, this is a shim. It has a hole in it right here. It acts as a vent for the hive and also I set this on top of a hive to put the oxalic in it into the hive. I lay a piece of plexiglass on top of this and put the pipe in the front here so that I can watch the uh, sublimation of the oxalic to make sure that I don't overheat it. I'm not going to do an actual hive this morning, it's too cold, but I will show you on this shim how it's done. The principles are exactly the same. This is uh, my pipe. I built this lower part since I, uh, I work as a machinist, that's uh, something I can do, but you can buy parts similar to this at Lowe's, any plumbing store. You don't really have to have this bend or these flare fittings. You can actually take a piece of half inch copper tubing and mash the back of it flat, pour your oxalic into the end of it and put it into your hive. It'll work just the same. Just take a hammer and mash the end flat. Uh, this is just a little fancier but this is a type of thing where you gotta design what you want for yourself. This is my little scale. I bought it off of eBay for five dollars. It wasn't very much. It measures grams. It works just great. I got a little aluminum tin here that holds the uh, oxalic. And this is my oxalic acid. 99.6%. I'm going to take this reservoir off this pipe, turn on my scale, it does measure grams so I'm able to uh, measure out what I need, uh, which is 2 grams because I have 2 deep hive boxes. If you only have 1 deep then you use 1 gram. Very simple. There we go. That's two grams of oxalic. Turn the scale off. Set it aside. Got a funnel here. Put the oxalic in the reservoir. And put the reservoir back on my pipe. Now with this design I have to I have to use a couple of wrenches to uh, make sure the fittings are seated. Now I'm going to put this into the hive. I have a propane torch here already lit. And what we want to do is leave enough of it sticking out here that you can heat the entire pipe. But you want to put more heat down on the reservoir. At least till you get it to where the uh, acid starts coming out of the vapor. Keep running your flame up and down to keep everything hot. This is a very cold morning. When you're doing this, you either want to wear a mask or stay up wind from these fumes because they will knock the breath right out of you. As you can say I'm, as you can see here, um, I am uh, playing the flame on it and bringing the heat up slowly. You want to melt the oxalic, you don't want to burn it. It melts into a liquid down inside the cup. And then after that it vaporizes. But you want all this to happen at a slower rate. I'm applying more heat down at my reservoir because the metal was heavier down there. It's going to take a little more heat to get it melted.
this is something you, something here that you don't want to get in a hurry with because you don't want your oxalic to burn. If it burns, it turns into carbon dioxide and water vapor. Now the vapors are starting to come out of the pipe. You can see them now. Keep, keep applying the heat till you get a solid plume of vapor coming out. Now I'm, I am staying out of the. I'm staying out away from the uh, fumes themselves. I don't want to get a whiff of this stuff. Now it's starting to come out more. You see, it's getting heavier. The exotic is starting to vaporize. If you want to just keep playing the heat up and down. Don't apply too much heat in one given area. Had the plexiglass been on this box, it would be shoving the uh, vapors down into the hive. And it doesn't get any simpler than this. The hardest part, if there's any difficulty at all to it, is designing your pipe and that can be as simple like I said as a piece of copper half inch tubing with the tail end of it flattened works just as well you want to keep playing the heat off and on up and down the pipe kind of a cool heat not 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 have the flame right up against the pipe just back away a little bit you can see it pluming out. When it stops creating vapor, then you're done. As you can see, this is quite a bit of vapor. Two grams of oxalic will create quite a bit of vapor. The reason I'm going up and down this pipe is it'll recrystallize inside the pipe if the pipe isn't hot. So you've got to keep the pipe warm. Now this is hot enough to burn you. You don't want to just grab a hold of it when you're done. You want to have on a pair of gloves or something. Pull it out of the shim with. I'm going to back off the heat just a little. Apply a little more. Now the plume is dying out. So we're just about out of auxiliary. And that should do it. You have just vaporized your hive. It's as simple as that. The only other thing that I do that I think is helpful is I take this reservoir off here. Which, like I said, you got to have a pair of gloves to do it, or you're going to give yourself a third degree burn. Take my uh, take my reservoir loose here. It's still rather hot. Put this back in, and I'll take a little plastic uh, pump-up garden sprayer, which I should have out here to show you, but I don't. But the, just a little plastic type with the pump up top. Make sure it doesn't have anything in it. And just 
pressurized air in it and turn it upside down and shoot it up under here and it'll force air through here and actually force more of the vapors down into the second uh, or the bottom hive body but uh, that's it in a nutshell you have to seal up all openings on the hive when you do this to make sure you got the gas sealed in there leave it set for 10 minutes it's not going to hurt the bees at all leave it set for 10 minutes and you can watch them walking around inside here under the plexiglass it doesn't seem to affect them <coughs> after 10 minutes unplug everything and let it vent out and there you go like I said it's as simple as that it's really quick you uh, have to do this once a week for three weeks to go through the 21 day brood cycle to make sure you kill all the varroa that are hiding in capped cells uh, so it's not a quick treatment as far as doing it in one application it's got to be done in three but with such little effort in actually doing it it's no real problem well I'll let you go for now thanks for watching and uh, we'll see y'all later.